um, in Kabul, Afghanistan. A Afghan attack. Babies killed as gunmen storm Kabul maternity ward. On May 12th, unidentified gunmen stormed a government-run hospital in Kabul, killing two babies and 16 mothers as well as staff members. In the days following, Afghan officials have said that the attack led to the deaths of 24 people in total. Although no group has claimed responsibility, Afghan officials are blaming the Taliban. U.S. officials believe that the Islamic State is responsible, as uh, ISIS took responsibility for a bombing, suicide bombing, at a funeral that happened on the same day, killing 32. Uh, many are attributing the attack to sectarian violence, as the uh, attack occurred, occurred in a mostly Shia area of the capital. Wait, so this was not Taliban, this was ISIS? Well, no group has claimed responsibility. No. Afghanistan's officials say that it's the Taliban. The Taliban has denied responsibility. United States officials say that it was ISIS. Mm. Um, yes. Because the IS was behind another attack previously, so I think... It's possible that they're behind this one, but they haven't claimed responsibility for this particular attack. So maybe too many babies were killed for them to claim. Usually they're quick to claim credit. I mean, not usually, sometimes, but maybe they're like, oh, no, too many babies. We do, we're not going to take credit for this one. It was pretty crazy. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so reported, this is like horrible. I was looking up the um the videos and the footage and so reportedly the gunmen made their way straight to the maternity ward like that was their destination um the head of the um programs for the hospital which is run by the french branch of doctors without borders frederick bonon um he said that they came to kill the mothers um what Yes. Wait, this was the babies and the mothers were not like collateral. They were like, let's shoot According the baby. According to this guy who is the head of the hospital who was there, he said that they went straight to maternity ward. Like that's where they were going on purpose first. Wow, this and is then, dark. Yeah, the gun battle between the militants and the Afghan security forces went on for four hours, and um. All of the, the three gunmen um, were all killed during the standoff. So we so, they're not so around. Why would they do that? Them. Like this doesn't make like what's the what's the strategy here? So U.S. Special Representative um, Zalme, oh, oh, fuck, I'm gonna butcher this. Um, Halizad, uh, I um, I mean, like he has fucking his name. That's epic. But go. <laughs> Sure. blamed ISIL for both attacks, including the suicide bombing at the um, th on the same day in a different part of the city. Um, he said that he, they're, they're blaming ISIS because they're saying that the group is opposed to any Taliban peace agreements and is seeking to trigger an Iraqi-style sectarian war in Afghanistan. So that's one reason why the U.S. is pointing the finger at ISIS. Um, Right. So if you go and do something like kill mothers and babies, it seems like, again, we're just guessing here. We have no idea. It seems like they were trying to do something so outrageous to start. A, they're hoping for revenge, right? They're like, let's do something that is like shocks people and then they will react and then we they would react to their reaction. Like they're just like, they were on purpose going for for something that will just cause a lot of outrage. Is that the, yeah? Is that's that my theory? understanding because um, shortly afterwards, um, the Afghan security forces went from a, a defensive stance to an offensive stance once again against the Taliban. So, I mean, okay, let, let's just be clear though. This is killing. Uh, were the babies killed on purpose? We don't know, right? They went after mothers and children. Mother. Okay, this is not. There were I mean, two I, children who were killed. Many more were injured, and then sixteen mothers were killed, 
And then there was an additional six people who were killed. I just want to be fair with our criticism because um, this doesn't seem Islamic. I mean, it's not. Killing babies is not Islamic. I mean, I do not defend Islam. Islam supports a lot of horrific, barbaric, violent shit. But killing babies is not one of them. You cannot just kill babies, any babies, in Islam. You're not allowed to kill babies in Islam. So... I mean, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to be fair with my criticism against Islam, so that when I point out that something is the fault of Islam, you know, people could be like, okay, well, uh, no, well, he's not just saying that because you know this is not Islamic. Yeah, I'm that's why honest. most people are pointing towards sectarian conflict. I mean, it's not sect- like sectarian as in Shia versus Sunni, right? Like, mm-hmm. what kind of sectarian? It's not Sunni or Shia either. So no, I'm, the, I'm not saying that oh. that's due to either of those doctrines. I'm saying oh, it's right. due to the conflict between them. Right, right, right. So let's just be fair when we blame something. And re- I mean, religion is not blameless here because it's Islamic violent nature that causes these or causes or helps uh, co- to start these wars. Uh, or and keep these wars going, and then when you have the war going, then these things happen. Um, so it's indirectly Islam could be blamed, but there's nothing directly in Islam that allows you ever to kill a baby. You, you technically will go to hell for either forever or or for a very long time, depending on who you talk to. But you're gonna get, yeah, you're gonna go to hell for killing babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Michael Sherlock is saying this was a strategic move to draw U.S. aggression. Yeah, I think the Taliban is going to miss the United States. Like they, yeah. They're going to, not the Taliban, ISIS actually. ISIS, Taliban, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but my view is that Taliban would love it if the United States leaves places, but ISIS is like, no, where are you going? How can we kill you if you're all the way all over there? Um, so ISIS is like, no, please don't go. A Taliban, like, yes, please go so we could finally rule this land again. Um, yeah, anyways, Shropam, did you have anything to say? Not really. I mean, this is your area of expertise. No, I mean, being against baby killing doesn't require much I mean, expertise. <laughs> like, I mean, like, like, I'm an expert in this matter. This like, baby <laughs> shooting babies, bad. Okay, call me if you need any other expert opinions on this. I mean, everyone knows about your viewpoint on cannibalism. <laughs> right. Oh, let's not open that one up again. <laughs> That thanks, Ripam. We just lost half of our viewers now. Anyways, news. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritize, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that you know on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 